So you're going to be someone that everyone who passes through your presence leaves better because of it. And I think that's a pretty good aim for a life. Each person that moved through your presence left better because of the time they spent with you. It's Connor here up behind Barcelona. Come for a run, Carretera de las Aguas. Beautiful spot to see all of Barcelona down here below. Oh, I was listening to a podcast from Dan Sullivan yesterday and Dan Sullivan said whenever he meets anyone new he makes sure that in his head he remembers that at very best he's number 21 on the list of most important people the person he's just met and as a reminder when you go to a networking event if you meet anyone outside of your closest family and friends when you meet them you're at the very highest, number 21, on their list of priorities. And Dan Sullivan says this thought that when he meets someone new to remember that he's down their list of priorities and remind himself, what do I need to do so that I become more important in the life of the person in front of me? And there's a couple of things that do not make you more valuable to the person in front of you. Uh, number one is talking about what you want, what you need from them, who you are. Talking about me moves me further down the list of priorities of the other person. And the more I talk about me and my needs, I probably move myself from number 21 to number 41 to down dropping off the list and then not even remembering my name. So Dan Sullivan asks, what can I do? so that in a conversation and over a series of conversations, I move from being the 21st most important, most useful person to this person in front of me, up to 15, to 10, to five. And you've got to get to know what the other person is seeking, what's important to them, why they're here, what journey they're on, what void they're seeking to fill, what values they're seeking to express. And it's only when you can get the conversation to a place where they can share what's important to them and you can listen and you can hear that you start moving from 21 to 15. And once you know some things about them, I think the question that I love of Dan Sullivan is something along the lines of, if we were having this conversation in about three years time, you and me, what would need to happen so that you in that conversation three years from now could say that personally and professionally you are fulfilled? And what I love about this conversation is it broadens the spectrum, not just professionally, but personally, what, what needs to happen over these next three years for you to feel fulfilled? What absences need to be filled with something? What achievements do you want to have? But uh, this idea that any networking event, if I'm talking about me, I'm dropping from 21 to 30. If I can get the conversation to the person in front of me, what they're seeking, who they are, what they need, what they're looking for here today, over the next year, over the next three years, help them clarify, help them articulate even more clearly what it is they want, help them identify specifically what obstacles are in the way. And I think very often people are hugely capable of achieving, but it's their own head that is their limiter. And by you allowing them to express what their dreams are out loud and articulate what the obstacles are to you, often when I articulate what is the obstacle, it seems a lot smaller than it did until the moment I put it into words. So I think this idea, when you meet anyone today, tell yourself, at best, I'm number 21 on their list of priorities. If I'm to move from 21 up into the top 20, up into the top 10, I need to be serving them and their goals and what they want to find. 
And what I've tended to find is, if you do this transactionally, the world of karma doesn't work. But if you do this just unconditionally lifting up those around you, uh, what Ken Blanchard calls servant leadership, uh, what Warren Rustan calls followership, lifting up others. Uh, what I find is if I just go out of my way to lift up others, help them connect to what they want, without any attempt to control the transaction or test whether it's going to come back or decide if it's worthy, then the universe works its magic. But where I try and manage it, there's a missing piece in the universe. So this isn't a game to do three times and see if it works. I think it needs to be a choice about what type of role you're going to play in the, in the life of others. Are you going to be someone that everyone who passes through your presence leaves better because of it? And I think that's a pretty good aim for a life. Each person that moved through your presence left better because of the time they spent with you. Have a great week, Connor, up here in Carreter de las Aguas. What's beautiful about Barcelona is my house is just 12 minutes on the motorbike up to here and you're in nature. And it's now a beautiful winter's day, which is even better because the sun is out, but it's not so hot that I sweat like an Irishman in Spain. Have a great one. Time to turn back, heading home. I hope these videos have helped you, inspired you, given you tools, given you ideas. Uh, if these are helping you, would love to have you subscribe, share, comment, and just let me know. And give me your questions. What, what do you think I can share more of here on this channel? Hope these are being of service to you. Have a great one. Back to the moto, end of the run. Heading back down to Barcelona. Have a good one. Thank you.